Welcome to the fourth and final video in the Restaurant Profile series. For this video, we are going to be covering the third column in the Restaurant Profile, from Upload Logo all the way down to the subdomain boxes. So, starting from the top, to upload a restaurant logo, it does have to be one of the four file types that you currently see on screen. Below that, you will see the Upload Restaurant Slideshow Photo option. This allows you to replace one of the stock images that Data Dreamers provides with an image that either you have or that the restaurant provides you. And it's just a fantastic way for you to customize your site and make it more along the lines with what you envision your site looking like. The cuisine type allows you to select a type of cuisine for the restaurant. You can currently only select a single type of cuisine, but this will allow the customers to search by cuisine type and see all of the restaurants that fall under that category on both the app and the website. And then just below that, you see the restaurant slash cuisine description. On the app and the website, whatever you type in here will show up under the uh, restaurant logo and name for both the app and the website. Price range is a visual indicator that allows you to show your customers how expensive any given restaurant is. You can choose between one and four cash symbols. Now, you currently have the ability to choose between any of the given themes. Default, Picture Menu, Asian, Bar and Grill, BBQ, Chalkboard, Italian, Mexican Modern and Mexican Traditional, Seafood, and Subs. Each one of these will bring its own little bit of flavor and flair to the menu, so I highly recommend that you play around with all of them and see which one you like best for any given menu. You do have the ability to actually upload your own menu background image. You can do that by pressing menu background image and selecting upload a file. Once you've uploaded it, you'll be able to select the file uploaded and it will appear behind the menu text. After that, you can use any of the given modifiers, fit or tile. Fit will stretch it to meet the entire screen. Tile will have it tiling repeatedly. Uh, you can have it fade in and out with a color if you so choose. You can apply an underlay and have that fade in and out with a given color if you so choose. I would suggest you either use an underlay or a colored fade. When you combine the two, it always comes out looking muddy, but uh, that could just be me. I'm definitely not a graphic design person, so if you can make it look awesome, all the power to you. And next up we have Manage Vendor Net Logins. So this is where you'll actually control the UMenu logins for this restaurant. And when you create a new Vendor Net user, you will have the username, the first name, last name, SSN, password, and then the group between owner, manager, and user. So the username is required, the password is required, and the group is required. And that is all that is required. Um, for the user, manager, and owner, the user can accept orders, and that is it. And the manager and the owner currently run on the exact same permission schedule, but we wanted to have them differentiated for the future when features are added so that there is two levels of permissions that we can differentiate between. The Enable UMenu Dispatch Recognition checkbox allows you to choose whether or not you would like the AI to automatically send orders to the restaurant's UMenu or if you would like to do it manually. So having it checked will allow the AI to do it and having it unchecked will allow you to do it manually. If you do leave it unchecked, there will be a yellow box in the dispatcher that you will click to do so. The choice is yours. And auto transmit takeout and pass through orders. Uh, this is very similar. It will allow you to control whether or not you would like takeout and pass through orders to be sent through automatically, or if you would like to be doing this manually. 
So checked allows it to do it automatically, and unchecked means that you will have to do it manually. So the subdomain domain and domain secret boxes are actually a leftover feature from a much older version of Wisdom that a few people are currently running on. So it does not work with the version that I'm, I'm sure you're currently working with. And we're not sure if we will be updating it, but we do not currently have plans to do so. But uh, you won't need to fill anything in. And if we do decide to update it, you will see a video from me on it. So, But that does conclude the series on the restaurant profile. I hope this was able to clarify any questions you might have. If it didn't, there is the documentation PDF that accompanied this series, or feel free to email us at support at datadreamers.com with whatever questions you might have, and we'll be sure to help you. So, farewell.